Hi everyone, Yas Aske Kalasish Tate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite Christmas cookies, Mela Macaruna. I've done a, a version of this in the past, but I've made this one even better if it's possible. This one is to die for. Mela Macaruna are Greek honey cookies that are deliciously spiced with cinnamon and cloves and orange. So good. They're perfect for gift giving. They're also dairy free. Um, you, can also, you might be able to make them vegan if you substitute the honey with something, maybe extra sugar or some maple syrup. I'll put all those directions in the blog post. Let's get started. Anytime you have a syrup-based Greek dessert, you begin by making the syrup because you need it to cool down. So in a saucepan, I've just removed the zest of an orange, the peel of an orange, by using a vegetable peeler. And I put it in the pot with a stick of cinnamon or a cinnamon stick one cup of sugar and one cup of water. If you want to make it even more aromatic, you can definitely throw two or three cloves in there. Bring the mixture to a boil and as soon as the sugar dissolves, go ahead and add a cup of Greek honey to this. Mix it all up, take it off of the heat and set it aside to cool completely. Now it's time to make the dough and you don't need a mixer for this, only two bowls. So we are going to start off with the dry ingredients. So over here in this big mixing bowl, I have three and a half cups or 500 grams of all-purpose flour. I have one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, and then I've zested two oranges. We're going to use the juice of three oranges. So you want to make sure you get the peels and the zests off before you juice them and you just put them in there. And then this is an ingredient that I did not have in my older recipe, but it's very traditional and it makes a huge difference. I have almost a cup of semolina flour. It's 150 grams, and this is finely ground semolina flour. Nowadays, you could find it in the baking aisle because lots of people are making pasta at home, and semolina flour is used to make pasta. If you can't find it, you can get it in a Middle Eastern or, or Med Mediterranean market, or I can put a link online where you can find it on Amazon. Whisk the dry ingredients all together first. If you do the wet ingredients first, then you're going to need another whisk. So do the dry first. You have less things to wash. Just whisk that, set it aside. Then in the other bowl, we're going to, pre we're going to prepare the dry ingredients. So I have half a cup or 100 grams of granulated sugar, one cup of light olive oil. You can use really good quality extra virgin olive oil. I would only use half a cup and then lighten it up with half a cup of your favorite vegetable oil. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you need a cup of orange juice. If your oranges are fresh and juicy, three oranges are going to be more than enough. If not, you, what you can do, this is a little more than a half cup in here. So you can just add a little bit of water to it to get a full cup of liquid. And then what I like to do, the only reason I'm pouring it back in here is because I'm going to dilute the baking soda in this. You need half a teaspoon of baking soda. And I always like to dilute it in the juice because then you don't get that bitter taste from baking soda that sometimes it tends to leave. Add that in there, whisk that all together. Then you don't need a stand mixer for this or any special equipment. All you're going to do is make a well in the center, add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. And you just mix it until it forms a dough. Resist the urge to overmix this because if you overmix this, what's going to happen is the oil is going to seep out of the mixture. And instead of having tender, crisp, crumbly cookies, they're going to be greasy and you don't want that. So all it takes is a few seconds of mixing and that's it. The dough is ready. Clean as you go. Makes life very, very easy. Then you're going to need two trays that are lined with parchment paper and a fork, so have that handy. You're gonna take the dough and you're gonna form um, ovals out of it. So about a tablespoon's worth, which should weigh out, if you have a little kitchen scale, which is a great gadget to have, uh, it should weigh out between 35 to 40 grams. That's about right. So it's about a tablespoon of dough and you're just gonna roll it in your hands until it forms an oval like this. And you can press the ends in so that way they're not pointy, that way they don't burn. Put them on the parchment paper and keep forming um, the ovals until you're done, until the dough is finished. If it's a little bit crumbly, you could press the dough together in your hands. Just try not to work it too much. Again, you don't want that oil to be released from the dough. You want it to stay in there. Once 
you're done forming the cookies, this recipe does make between 26 to 27 cookies, then go ahead and pierce the tops of each cookies with a fork. This not only makes a pretty pattern on top, it's also gonna help them bake evenly and it's gonna help them absorb the syrup a little bit better. The oven should be preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. They can go in together as long as one is on the center rack and the other one is as close to the top of the center rack that you can get it. They should bake between 20 to 25 minutes or until they're beautifully golden brown. As soon as they come out of the oven, the hot cookies are gonna be dipped in the cooled syrup. So you wanna make sure that the syrup is nice and cool. Don't make this last minute. Don't make this while the cookies are baking. You could even make the syrup a day ahead of time and refrigerate it. So we'll get to that step next. So while the cookies are baking, go ahead and make the nut topping. You're gonna need three quarters of a cup of finely ground walnuts, a heaping teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Mix that all together and set it aside. Now, as soon as the cookies come out of the oven, mine took 25 minutes. It just, your oven is gonna vary, so keep an eye on them. Start checking on them at the 20 minute mark, and as soon as they're golden brown, take them out. And then it's time to dunk them in the honey syrup. So I, my pan holds about five at a time. So I put them in for about 15, 20 seconds max, 10 minutes on each side, basically. I just turn them off so that way the syrup absorbs all the way through the cookie, and then go ahead and transfer them to a plate. Once all of the cookies are dunked into the syrup, then go ahead and top them with that nut mixture. It's gonna add another little hint of spice to them from all that cinnamon and the cloves and a little bit of crunch from the walnuts. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. At this point, they're ready to be served but of course you can let them cool completely. You're gonna have a tiny bit of syrup left over. It's up to you, if you're serving these in a big platter, you could actually pour the little bit of syrup that's left over on top, just so that way they could be extra sweet. In some parts of Greece, they like to drizzle honey on top. I think it's a little too much because they're sweet enough. It smells so good in here, it's time for the taste test. Mmm. They're crisp on the outside. The syrup has gone all the way through the cookie and they're nice and sticky and sweet on the inside. They are absolutely perfect. All that's missing is a cup of Greek coffee with these. A little twist on these is one, instead of putting the nut topping on top, once they're cooled completely, you can melt some semi-sweet or dark chocolate and dip them in. If you don't want them fully immersed in the chocolate, you could even drizzle it on top. It's up to you. It gives it a little bit of more of a modern twist. I like them like this better if you ask me. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. If you want to learn how to make the other version of these that I used to make at the bakery when we had one, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.